I am a reasonably experienced gravel, adventure cyclist, and have had big and premium brand carbon fiber bikes in the past including e-bikes. My last e-gravel bike was full carbon fiber equipped with the Mall Ebikimotion X35 drive system, which is very similar to the Bafong 250W hub drive in the CF Racer one, even down to the exact same battery capacity. I sold my old bike last year on an impulse and while it was a little bit too big, it was a great bike and I immediately regretted it. However, to buy the same exact bike would have set me back $5,500, and that is about average for a quality mid-priced carbon fiber road gravel e-bike. Fortunately, the CF Racer 1 was exactly what I was looking for, with comparable components and build to my previous bike, and in my size, 50. It almost seemed too good to be true. I was not expecting a bike that was comparable to my previous expensive and much-loved e-bike, but the CF Racer 1 is just as good and in some ways better. The SRAM Rival 1 drivetrain and brakes are top-notch. Reliable and smooth shifting and confident braking including on rough or steep terrain. The hub drive is almost invisible and you can't tell that there is a battery hidden in the down tube. Unless you have the extender installed, which I do, you can't tell this is an e-bike. I had also never ridden a bike with an integrated carbon fiber stem handlebar combo before and it is a revelation. I ride gravel double track and trails including some borderline MTB and the carbon fiber eats up bumps with no need for a suspension stem or seat post. The bike handles brilliantly on both smooth roads and the rough stuff, and it didn't take long for me to trust the bike's confident handling characteristics. You'll get a workout riding up hills but the rear motor makes it possible for average or older road gravel riders like me to keep up with stronger riders on group rides or to get up hills that you might hike a bike on a non-powered bike. Battery range on this bike is exactly the same as on more expensive Mall X35 equipped bikes that are the CF Racer 1's closest competitors. In fact, the integrated sensitive cadence sensor in the CF Racer 1 is better than the cadence sensor in my old X35 bike. On my old bike, the faster I went, the more battery I used, whether I needed the extra power or not. The cadence sensor in the CF Racer 1 provides more power at lower cadence and speed, like when going up hills, and less at higher speed and cadence, meaning it gives you more power when you need it, and less when you don't. The CF Racer 1 is a case study for when a cadence sensor makes more sense for riders, in this case, road gravel cyclists who are used to riding at higher cadence or speeds than a torque sensor. It makes me a happy cyclist, that's for sure. There is nothing like the CF Racer 1 at this price point. Rides and performs like a bike two or even three times the price. Kudos for Ride 1 Up for pulling this off. Not only is it a great value bike, it's just a great bike, period.